One of Toronto's most historic areas is the Distillery District. Founded in the early 1800s by Goodrum and Wartz, this was at one point the largest distillery in the world. Now, large-scale productions of spirits ended in 1990, and since then, the area has become a vibrant arts and culture district, open to pedestrian traffic only. The well-preserved Victorian buildings now house galleries, cafes, restaurants, a microbrewery, and a sake brewery. This is a great area to come and explore, and today I'm going to experience it in a unique way by hopping on one of these bad boys and scooting around the district. That was good timing. Awesome, thanks. Uh, so my name is Mike, I'm a tour guide here at Segway of Ontario. We've been here since around 2005 down in the distillery district, uh, and we offer historical guided tours of the distillery district on a Segway. Riding a uh, Segway in the Distillery District is great uh, because it's one of the only places in Ontario that you can actually do that. Uh, so you get the most out of this area in a shorter period of time. Uh, you get to kind of see how expansive it is and learn a lot about it as well. After our initial stroll around the district, we regrouped under the main Goodman Wartz sign, where Mike introduced us to some of the history of the area. We then made our way to our first stop on the tour, a boutique shop called Crescendo. It specializes in unique oils, vinegars, and spices, and dispenses their products from barrels and amphorae, ensuring their products are always fresh. You can buy as little or as much as you like, and sampling is highly encouraged. A few doors down from Crescendo, we popped into Reiner's, a family-run furniture store known for their animal-shaped ottomans. Propelled by the model Quality or Nothing, the ottomans are handmade from the finest materials shaped in a variety of animals, including hippos, pigs, rhinos, and elephants. Soma Chocolate Maker is one of the few artisan chocolate makers in North America, with one of two shops located in the distillery district. Their products range from English toffee to chewy amaretti cookies to homemade gelato. Their cocoa beans are purchased from around the world and are processed on site where you can regularly see workers whipping up various truffles and chocolate bars. Founded in 2002, Mill Street Brewery is one of Canada's most successful makers of craft beer. Their location boasts a brew pub and a beer hall a retail shop, and a tasting room where visitors can sample some of their top sellers. The Ontario Spring Water Sake Company is Eastern North America's first sake brewery. Using traditional Japanese brewing methods and Ontario Spring Water, visitors can sample a variety of sake made right on the premises. So that ends the tour for me. I had a fantastic time checking out the distillery district on a Segway, and I hope you enjoyed watching as well. If you'd like to do a similar tour, make sure to come down here and meet the guys from Segway Ontario, and they'll be sure to find a tour that's right for you. All right, that's it for me. Check you on the next one. See you soon.